Hey everybody, this is Jennifer from Sing to Kids, and I just wanted to share with you <clears throat> another tool that you can use if you are working with Google uh, Classroom or Google Slides. Uh, and this tool is called Pear Deck. You can get it as an extension in the Chrome Web Store. Um, and Pear Deck is a tool that's very similar to Nearpad in that you can build slides to share with your students, but you can make them interactive in nature and they can do them self-paced in their own time, or they can do them um, together in class. So if you were working maybe in a hybrid situation and you weren't able to sing, you weren't able to play instruments, but you still wanted your kids to do some music with you, this might be a fun way to have them uh, engage musically. So this is a slide deck I have going for first grade for this coming week. I am in a remote setting, so I'm seeing my kids online uh, once a week for 20 minutes, but then they also have work that they're doing asynchronously um, outside of that. And so I really want it to be a rich um, experience for them. So this is a Pear Deck uh, thing that I have going in Google Slides. You can go into your add-ons and you'll see if you've added it. You can uh, open Pear Deck add-on and you'll see that this menu uh, shows up over here to the right. So this is just a little Google slide I have going, background, there's a frame, text, there's my little bitmoji of myself. And then here's the first poem that I'm doing with my kids this week. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. And you can see there's just this um, with the words and uh, then they can see where the different speakers are. And then here is a video that's embedded into the, um, the slide deck so the kids can hear me um, performing the chant for them. And so uh, what I want them to be able to do is to interact musically with what they're doing. If I wanted to perhaps have like a little question at the end, or maybe I wanna link a website or make some things uh, click and drag within the thing, I could do that. If I wanted to add audio to the slides, so and maybe I don't wanna do a video of myself, maybe I just wanna add audio to that slide so that you, the kids can hear me performing the chant. I can click add audio to slide, Click that record button. Chook, 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 chook. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. How many chickens do you have? Madam, I have ten. Four of them are yellow. Four of them are brown. Two of them are speckled red, the finest in the town. And uh, I can go ahead and click save. And I'm gonna add the audio to the slide. And then you'll see, once the audio is added, there'll be a little button right here. So I'll just leave it right there. And it says don't change that link because we want that link to be functional. So I'm scrolling down. Here's another song I'm doing call and response with my kids. So again, they can see uh, the song there they can see how the response works in there and then disregard this funky picture of myself. That's not how it comes I out. Would. But then I have me singing the song for them and then a little question about form. Uh, and I could have them choose if I wanted to. So maybe we'll make it a little choice. What is the form of the song? So how could we put that here? And again, that could be through their device or it could be through projector. I don't necessarily wanna do it that way. This is just more there to have them think about what they're hearing. Um, and then you can see here is a mystery instrument, instrument video, which leads them into the instrument I'm playing during this chant. Here's a little song I'm teaching them and me singing the song. And then down here is our song tail. And here's an exit ticket that's embedded into the um, slide deck for the kids. So they just click on that. And then what they're going to see is a Google form. And so they have to tell me what their favorite song was that week. And they have to identify the form of uh, the song, Did You Feed My Chickens? and submit. Now, if I 
wanted to use this in my classroom setting and have all the kids working on it at the same time, I'm going to go back over here to Pear Deck and I'm going to go ahead and do my login. And if I slide down here, it says present a file from Drive. So I could go in here and find my first grade slide deck and um, I could share it. And if it's not showing up, as I can see, it's not showing. Oh, there it is. Um, then I would click on that and it says student, start student paste or start a live session. So if I were with them together and we wanted to do this together, we could. But because my students are all doing this remotely, we're going to start student paste and, um, and then they can work on it at their own pace. So that is Pear Deck, just a really small sample of what it can do. And um, I'm really excited for my kids to be able to use this this year. And I love that it integrates with Google Slides. It makes it very easy. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to take this assignment and embed it into Canvas so that my kids can have access to it there. Thanks so much. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.